Alrighty, welcome back to NTV's Glyphal. We've shown you a number of very beautiful Christmas lighting displays all over the country. But now, how many of them have been going on for, get this guys, 35 years? Yours. Well, yeah. <laughs> But not like this. <laughs> not like this, because our Good Life guy, Brian Ganuzzi, tells us about one such display, and it's just south of Cozad, so it, you, we can drive to it and see it. You got it, <laughs> exactly right. To it, so, yes, right. Very true. Uh, this is one of those stories where uh, you just feel privileged to be able to meet these people to kind of just help tell their story a little mm -hmm. bit, because they're not screaming at the rafters to, <laughs> to, to, to show their display, but exactly. it was neat to go meet this little lady. Um, to do anything for 35 means, years means you're no spring chicken. Every fall, however, when it comes time to decorate, Janice Hifley gets a spring in her step. She's 87 years old, but still makes sure the lights and Christmas decorations get up every year. It was 1983 when the decorating began. They needed to make the farm site stand out for some of their daughter's friends who were coming for a party here, so they put a few lights on the steeple. Th that's all we did the first year, and then the next year Carl says, well, you need to do some more lights. So then I started and I put them on the house, and then Okay, then we'll just keep a going. In. But before we move on with the story, I had to ask, why is there a church steeple in the yard? It was uh, the church that all the Hifleys went to. Janice said after two churches combined, it was decided that their Methodist church in Eustace would be taken down. They had an auction to get rid of all the lumber and stuff, and so Carl went up and he was bidding a guy up on the steeple because he wanted to get as much money, and he got stuck with it. <laughs> and the guy only wanted to weather vane on top so he gave Carl the I think it cost him twenty dollars <laughs> and so we, we got the steeple home for twenty dollars. So. The steeple is just one of the many decorations on the farm and is a great tribute to husband Carl that passed away three years ago. These days Janice still does some of the work but is mostly moved into her new role as family lighting director. I did a lot of it myself for a long time but the last three years I haven't done much because my health just won't let me anymore, so. But I have family that helps me, so. And they, they know, okay, this one does the steeple now, and I've got two grandsons that they'll grab the sleigh and reindeer, and up they go, and. With six children, 11 grandchildren, and 11 great-grandchildren, she has a big group to help with the work. I, I put them up on the house until I was told I couldn't climb the ladder anymore, <laughs> so. They usually know if they come here for Thanksgiving dinner, okay, after dinner, some do the dishes and the rest go outside and we put lights up the last the last three years has been that way so i know when they were putting up the house this year they started and they were doing it wrong and i said whoops back up take that bunch down and do this way <laughs> so, so they did so janice and her family work hard every year to brighten the farm site but also add some christmas cheer to those driving by now i've had quite a few people tell i really like your lights again this year and so I think that makes me keep going. Just kind of part of me anymore. Janice is proud to say she's 87 years old and plans to keep putting up lights for as long as she can. Maybe as long as I am in this house yet. How long that's going to be, I don't know. The good Lord knows, but I don't. <laughs> Brian Ganuzzi, NTV's Good Life, south of Cozad. If you'd like to see the display, it's an easy one to find. It's just four miles south of Cozad, I-80 interchange, right on Highway 23. So, Man, very I'm, cool. I gotta say, she's inspirational. Yes. And I wanna just go give her a hug. I love <laughs> yeah. that. It's what, what keeps she young. She was that's the sweetest she, lady yes. and has a great family that's helping her keep that tradition going. As uh, as she said, she, she shouldn't be climbing ladders anymore. That's right. And she also mentioned another story about her husband, uh, Carl, before he passed away, was he, he'd lift her up in the bucket of the tractor to get her around the house. <laughs> and I don't think it was terribly long ago that that was happening. So um, they, were, they were troopers to get their lights yes. up. And, uh, but now she's got a big family to help, uh, help do the work. As and should. But she, she makes sure they do it right. Lighting so. director. Yes. You got it. <laughs> what a blessing That's to the good. family. I mean, truthful. Oh, I'm yep. going to go give her a hug. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm Thank coming you, Brian. Way. Love that story. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it. All right, we're coming back with more of NTV's Good Lights.